Hello Techies. In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to work with create a channel action to create a new channel for a specific team. Along with that, in our previous tutorial, we have seen how to post a message in a chart by using post message in a chart or channel action. Now, in this tutorial, we will learn how to post a message in a particular channel by using post message in a chart or channel action. Before that, let me disable this action that is create a channel action. Before that, let me drag and drop this action that is post message in a chart or channel onto the workspace. As we know, this post message in a chart or channel operates post message to a chart or channel. All right. And also we have seen how to give the connection references. Now, if you see the parameters over here, I'm having the first parameter as post as. Now let me select the option over here by clicking on drop down. Now in our previous tutorial, while working with post message in a chart, we have used as a user. Now I'm going to select the option flow bot. So whenever I'm going to post a message in a chart or a channel, I have to post it as a flow bot. All right. Now the second parameter you can see over here post in where we have to post this message. There we are having three options. One is channel chart with flow bot and then group chart. In our previous tutorial, we have seen group chart. Now I'm going to work with channel to post a message, right? I'm going to select channel. Now, whenever you are going to post a message in the channel, first thing is that we have to post a message, right? So I'm going to give the third parameter that is message. I'm going to give some text over here. Hello world. Welcome to ops team channel. You can share the details in this channel. I'm just going to give you simply the text over here. And then if you see over here, I'm having another parameter such as team and channel. Let me go to the Microsoft teams. There you can see, let me go to the teams over here. And there in my teams, I'm having Conteso. Along with that, I'm having channels such as general, dev, team members, and the operation. So now if you see the Conteso is the team, and then internally you can find the channels over here, right? In a such a way, the team here, we are going to select it as Conteso. And then the channel over here, where you want to post the message, that channels will be up here. Right now, as we have seen, we are having dev team members, general and operations team. So I want to post a message in the channel that is operation teams. All right. Now, if you go for the advanced parameters, we are having timeout. This is the default timeout, which we are having 60 seconds. All right. Now the output for the post message in the chart or channel will be stored inside the variable that is post message to conversion response. All right. Let me click on save. Before going to run this flow, let me go back to the Microsoft Teams once again. And then if you see over here in the operations team, I, I don't have any messages in a such a way. We have added some more text over here, like hello world, welcome to ops team. You can share the details over here. That will be posting over here via workflows. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And it is trying to post a message in the particular channel which we have given in the action that is post message in a chart or channel action. Flow has executed successfully. Now let me go to the Microsoft Teams once again. There you can see inside my Contesto team, inside my channel operation team, there you can find the message that is hello world, welcome to ops team channel. You can share the details in this channel, correct? If you observe over here, we are going to post message, post as, flow bot, right? That's the reason you can find workflows over here. All right. Let me go back to the Power Automate desktop. Now, if you see in the flow variables, I'm having an output variable that is post message to conversion response. Let's double click on that. Now, if you observe over here that I'm having variable value that is post message to conversion response, and I'm having some properties over here, such as ID, message link, that you can use this link whenever you want to share with someone else. That is HTTPS colon double slash teams.microsoft.com slash and the message it has been given. And you can see the conversion ID. 
what is the conversion id you can use this id and conversion id for the future purpose all right let me click on close now i'm going for a little bit more inside the post message in a chart let's double click on this action now if we see over here i can post a message in a chart or channel right now the same thing for the post as i'm going to post in a chart in a group chart i'm going to change the post in as group chart and then if you see the group chart parameter i'm going to drop down that and you can see what are the group charts that we have all the group charts will appear over here i'm going to select administrator discussion and then i'm going to give the another parameter as message as hello world with flow bot i'm just going to give this example over here or the message test over here and the advance you can see the timeout over here and then the output as we know the output will be stored inside the variable that is post message to conversion response all right let me click on save now once again let's run the flow to see the output for the post message in a chart with flow bot flow execution started there you can see it is trying to post a message in a group chart as a post as a flow chart all right flow has executed successfully now let me go back to the microsoft teams so there you can see one notification i got it right in the chart let me click on the chart inside my chart i am having group chart that is administrator discussion right there you can see i got some message over here that is hello world with flow bot now you can see over here that via workflows that is came over here in a such a way there you can see mod administrator via mod administrator via workflows that you got it i hope you understand how to post a message in a channel or in a chart by using the action that is post message in a chart or channel action and also we have seen how to post a message by using post as flowbot